here. Okay, we're gonna be doing some running. We're gonna do some uh, reactionary stuff mixed in with some agility. Um, and then we're gonna finish with some conditioning and then a little hip stretch. Okay, it's gonna be a little shorter here, but it's gonna be uh, short and sweet, very tough today. Okay, so first thing is always dynamic stretch, getting loosened up. Okay, right, so let's start out. Let's go knee hugs to start. Knee hugs. Especially the conditioning. Might see Mr. Rogers barf on camera. Okay, high knees, let's go. stride sprint. Long stride sprint. Let's go. sister okay if you do not have a parent or brother or sister to work with you on this one to point you which way to go 
okay? Then you're just gonna follow along with Raji here, okay? And you're gonna watch me point and you'll try to go whatever way I point you, okay? All right, guys, let's get a drink and we'll, we'll be back with you here, here in a sec. Okay, guys, so we're back at it here, okay? If you look how I, uh, how I uh, set the cones up, right? We have one here, okay, we have one a little over five yards out. And then we have one about uh, two or three yards here. Okay, they kind of make a little V. So you're gonna sprint to the far one here, sprint back, okay? And then the coach is gonna point which direction and you're gonna back pedal out whichever way they point. So the first one, right, take them off here, pull up, coming back, coach points that way and you're back pedaling here, okay? Number two, number two, ready? Go, push. Good. Okay. Last one. Next one, similar deal. Now you're gonna back pedal all the way to the cone, keeping your chest forward, okay? Then as you're coming back, the coach is gonna point, say he points this way. Now you're gonna plant and take off this way. Okay, does that make sense? Back pedal that cone. Back pedal forward, forward out, or forward out the other way. Okay, back pedal to start, we got three of these. Rest here. Make sure you're moving your arms. Okay, move your arms. A little bit of a forward lean so you're not falling backwards. A little reach. Ready? Go, Raj. Take off. That's good. Big arms. As soon as you hit here, plant, boom, and push. Two more, two more guys. change it up a little bit. Okay, so say I point the other way, it's
It's a stop, shuffle, boom, and sprint through this one. Okay? Three of these. Last three, and then we'll get a little drink. Does that make sense, Raj? said guys if you don't have somebody to point for you at home just watch the video okay just watch the video and try to follow along with whatever Raji's doing here okay last one here Raj last one then we'll get a good drink ready go baby guys let's get a little rest get a good long rest okay because we're going to do some conditioning next okay that is going to be very tough all right okay guys welcome back today okay we're back at it okay we're going to do some conditioning it's going to be difficult okay so we've got one two three four cones okay they're each about five yards apart okay so to this first cone which is where Raji's going to start here he's going to go down and back six times okay then he's going to get a long rest okay then the next cone he's going to go down and back four times okay then he's going to get another rest then the last one he's going to go down and back twice okay then he'll be toast you guys at home should be toast okay and we will uh we'll get a drink so remember the first one is six and down and back is one so if you're counting yourself it's one one Okay, so just to the first cone and back for six. Okay, then we'll get a rest. Okay, always stop facing the cone. Okay, ready, Raj? Go. That's one. Is it two? Go on, push. Is it three? is going to be four. Okay, so get a good rest in between here. Make sure you're breathing. Open up those lungs. We're going to be back on the ice here soon. Tomorrow. Tomorrow back at it. Okay. Ready? Go, baby. Four of these. Down and back. 
back twice. This is a long one. All out on this one. Third period here. Get yourself a little drink, Rob. A little drink here at home while we wait on wait on this one. back twice hard as you can Raj this is all we have at home we're gonna be getting a stretch after this so all out don't save your energy ready go come on push your arm whoa don't snap push 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 a little wet out here let's go all the way through all the way through beautiful all right, guys, get a little drink. Okay, then we're going to go into a little stretch. And we'll have you guys out of here. Okay. Okay, guys, let's finish with a little stretch. So we're going down Saigon squat. Okay, short and sweet one today. Big dog. I want you to fall on it. Okay, have a seat, butterfly. Push that hip forward, push that hip forward. I've already been in the mud once today. Beautiful. Okay, switch. Okay, let's stand up, let's cross our arms and hang. Right, guys that's all we have for you today okay we're sending it over to skills okay uh, a little conditioning tougher day shorter day though so we'll send you over to skills and that'll be it all right take care guys this water break is brought to you by crooked crust refer a friend to a virtual practice and receive a free pizza once referring a friend please email coach salikin to collect a pizza voucher plus for a limited time only we are offering dfw hockey specials on curbside pickup or get home delivery using DoorDash, Uber Eats, or Grubhub. Please join the Texas Tigers hockey community during these tough times by supporting Crooked Crust and order your pizza tonight. Now on to today's skill session. Hey guys, here's uh, Coach Trevor and my son Cross here. We're here for our 10th video uh, that we put together. And uh, I know it's been a long uh, five or six weeks, but talking to a lot of you parents and kids, seeing you at the rink or just talking, um, a lot of you guys have been watching our videos and Coach Carson's videos and Coach Forrest. And so we've, uh, we've done, uh, you know, about 30 videos so far. And, and a lot of kids have been engaged with them, which has been really, really good. And uh, it's really going to help your, your skill sets, your, your, your shooting, your scoring, your stick handling, uh, passing, receiving, all that stuff. So, and, uh, you know, obviously as well, uh, the rinks have opened uh, just the other day, yesterday. And um, so as we move forward here, we only got about maybe a week and a half left of these videos. And we're going to be getting more on the ice and doing a lot of lessons and uh, getting back at it. So what we're going to go on today, what the video we're going to do today is just our, uh, we're going to work on backhand shot. 
And uh, the backhand shot is really something that is um, really not used that much in the game of hockey, and it's really it's really underestimated a lot. And um, you know, I think that there's the really good players work on it a lot, and they use it in the game. The thing is to use it in the game, and you just don't see it used as much. And it's something that. Is very deceptive coming off your hockey stick and blade for a goaltender. Um, very deceptive for an opponent as well to maybe make a pass. Um, so there's a lot of things to the backhand that is that is very beneficial if you have a good backhand, especially with the shot. So we're really going to go over just a couple different shooting aspects, and I'm going to talk about just the, um, the detail and some of the, the things on the backhand. I'm going to cross. Uh, do the backhand from the left side as a lefty, and I'll do maybe a couple shots here as a righty, and um, and we'll we'll just talk about uh, some specifics. Um, you know, weight transfer, wrist rotation, pointing to the target, and we'll go from there. We'll do uh, just some shots here in the high in the slot, and then we're gonna do it in tight on the backhand uh, in front of the net to score. And get that puck up over the over the goaltender on the backhand. Okay, so on the first one, I'll just talk about the technique, and then I'll let Cross um, do some reps, maybe eight to ten. Okay, so as we uh, talk about the technique here, obviously you want to get your hands out. All right, when I take that backhand shot, I want to make sure that I transfer my weight to the target, just like shooting on your forehand. You want to make sure your weight transfer is going towards the target, okay? Also, too, to get a good backhand and get some power, you want to have a little wrist snap on that backhand, almost like a wrist snap on the forehand, but it's almost a wrist snap on the backhand, okay? And once again, the shot here, a lot of times goaltenders don't know where it's going. They can't read that puck going off the blade from the backhand side, okay? So I'm here. I'm going to transfer my weight from the target, okay? And I... And, and, as I follow through, you're going to see that I'm going to wrist snap and then point to my target here. I'm not going to leave my blade open and do this, okay? I want to make sure that I wrist snap, point to my target, and get some power on the shot and keep the shot down as well. All right? So I'll just do a couple on the technique here, and then I'll have cross uh, work on the backhand. So I come in here, my hands are out, and I snap my wrist and point to my target. As you can see, the toe of my blade was pointing to the net, okay? That one went a little high, so that's why I'm going to work on this, all right? Get low, bend our knees, transfer my weight, and then snap, okay? Point to my target. Here, low, and snap. Here, my follow-through. There's where I'm pointing, right to my target. A few more times, and then I'll let Cross take over here. As you can see on my blade, on my back end, it's somewhere somewhere in, uh, in the middle. It's not at the toe, it's not at the heel. Somewhere in the middle, I'm cupping the puck, okay, on my back end. And I'm going to transfer, and it's a wrist snap to point. Here we go. Low. One more time, and then I'll let Cross uh, shoot the rest of these pucks. And I point to my target, and I transfer my way. Okay, so Cross, you go ahead and take about 8 to 10 shots, go through these pucks here. called over the net and uh, hitting the, the other fence. It happens. That's why we got to take a lot of reps and work on our shot. Okay? Good shot. Keep going. Two more. Nice. Comes off that stick on the backhand. Hard to read for a goaltender. Doesn't know where it's going to go. As long as you can hit the target and get some good power, you got a very good chance of uh, scoring a goal on the backhand. Okay? A few more. Nice. Two more. Good. Last one. Point to your target. Wrist rotation. Good. 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 All right. So that's the shot on the back end. Following through. Pointing to your target. 
little wrist snap. And um, if you follow through high, one thing I wanted to add, if you follow through high, the puck's going to raise up on you a little bit. You want to make sure you're low, follow through a little bit lower, and on, as you wrist snap to point to your target, the puck's probably going to stay below uh, halfway or lower. Okay? So let's do the one inside. Let's do the one this one here, uh, we'll, go, we'll go on this side. I'll take it on this side. Actually, I'll let you. This one here, we're going to work on in tight backhand, just kind of snapping that puck on the backhand, back on the top of the goaltender. Okay? How many of you guys know? I, I talk to a lot of kids, do a lot of lessons with kids, and one of the questions I ask is, who likes to score goals? And they all raise their hand. Me, coach. Me, coach. We all love to score goals. I mean, that's uh, whether you're a defenseman or a forward. We all want to want to score. Okay. And then my question is too, especially if you're around this area here, just around the offensive net, somewhere around the crease or just around the crease, any area which is deep in the house. I call it the offensive house. You gotta be able to put that puck in the net, okay? So in this instance here, Cross is gonna get a loose puck. It's a game situation. He's got a loose puck. He's kind of in front of the net. He's kind of, obviously he's gonna be battling with another defender here off the other team, but he's gotta make sure he has a good stick. What's a good stick mean? It means, Cross, what does it mean? It means not having a stick way up here, right? Yep. A lot of times having a stick way up here, especially in front, and there's a loose puck, around is not going to work. You're not going to be able to score the goal. So you want to make sure that you're strong on your stick. You have a good stick in that area. And you want to make sure you have good positioning and you battle hard, okay? You got to have good strength and great, uh, good leg strength. Okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to work on in tight, loose puck, probably off a rebound or, or a shot that came from the point. Right across. Sorry? Yeah. But we're just going to work on that. Okay, so Cross is going to work on just chipping the puck on the back end, up over the goalie, in tight, within about three or four feet from the net. Okay, we're going to work on getting it up. As you're going to see, he's going to he's going to lean on that that blade's going to be on a good angle, and he's just going to he's going to chip. He's going to chip up. Okay, but the angle of the play is very important. Okay, here we go. Let's go through this here, Cross. There you go. Little snap. He's got a little snap on that back end. You can see he kind of snaps it up. Not a real hard follow-through snap because he's so in tight and in close. He's got to really elevate it quickly. Does that make sense? So he's got a good angle on that back end, and it's just a quick, quick snap. And it goes over the shoulder and up top. You want to be in that upper half of the net. Good. Good. Keep going. A few more. Good. Nice. Good. 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 Last one here. Good. Okay, so also, one thing I want to add, a lot of times too, faking the backhand, okay, and then going to the forehand, or vice versa, fake your forehand and going backhand is really going to show some deception, not only with the goaltender, but the defender, okay, on who you're playing against. So what I mean by that is you may come in and you may show backhand here. A lot of times the goalie can't read it off your stick, and you may show backhand, and all of a sudden you come right away to the forehand and shoot, okay? Or the other way around. You may show forehand, come in and show a little body language, right, a little bit of... You know, just to make that goaltender or defender fight for uh, half a second, okay? And we come in here, and now we go to the backhand, all right? We talked about, in one of our um, in one of our first videos that we did, we talked about deception, whether it's scoring or maybe it's a deception to make a play or, or a pass or something like that. Um, Cross, you can get the pucks out here. We'll, we'll just work on this quickly. Yeah. Um, one thing that you, as a hockey player, if you want to be a successful and very high-end hockey player, is you got to have deception to your game. 
you got to be a player, whether you have the puck or don't have the puck, in a game, be a guy that's unpredictable. Especially if you have the puck. If you're an unpredictable hockey player and everyone in the building thinks you're, gonna, you're doing one thing, but then all of a sudden you go and do something else, now you've really faked them out. In hockey, we call it fakes, right? So in this instance, we're going to go, Cross is just going to work on showing forehand and then go to the backhand in tight or fairly in tight, okay? So he's going to show forehand here, here, and then pull backhand and then up and, up and in. All right, here we go, Cross. Good. He, he, did, he just he showed, sell that fake for that half a second. He even has a little leg kick. Comes in with a little leg kick and then slides it over to the backhand quick. Okay, and stop here for a second, Cross. I want to add one thing. So when Cross started on this shot and, and faked forehand, look at the puck was here. So that means that goaltender, he was squared up to the puck. Okay? But once Cross faked here, and now look at where he shoots it off. It's way over here when he gets that puck off. So it started here, and going bit, and now, but what is that about? Three, four feet? Four feet difference of an angle? And all of a sudden now, he makes a good shot, goes upper part of the net, and it's, and it's in the net, it's a goal. Okay? All right, continue, keep going. Good, he sells it, hands are opened up. Good. Sell it, sell forehead, go back in. Good. Go to the box here. Nice. Good. Sell forehand, backhand, up top. Sell forehand, go back in, up top. Good. You gotta really sell. He may put a leg kick in there. He may even drop a shoulder a little bit. You wanna sell the shot. You wanna sell that forehand shot. There it is. Make them fight for that half a second. It's okay. Good, 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 good. So as you notice, he came here, and then he came across. He sold it. He dropped the shoulder. Okay, maybe a little leg kick. Whatever. He's trying to use body language as well, and as well that top hand to do this. As you notice, when he went this, he faked. Top hand came out, and then he came across and went right to the back hand and went up. Okay, so I just encourage you guys over the next, uh, obviously we're getting back to the rinks, but even if you're on the ice uh, with lessons or if you're at your house with the net, work on this. Work on some deception, backhands, in tight backhands, going up top, and then also backhands from about maybe 15, 20 feet out, working on that wrist snap and pointing to the target, transferring your body weight to the net. Okay, so... As we uh, wrap up here, like I said, we're coming to a close on these videos. We're going to go, uh, for, I think we got about another week and a half left of videos. And it's really encouraging to me as a coach that um, I know I've been doing a lot of lessons at the rink yesterday and today and throughout the week here. So I've been busy, busy at the rink and on the ice again. But I've had, uh, you know, some kids come up and, and just talk about the videos that we've been doing and how they've been really enjoyed it. And. They've really practiced uh, a lot of stuff that we've been talking about and a lot of the detail that we've talked about, and that's going to improve your game. You do a lot of reps the right way and uh, working on things the right way, it's just going to make you better overall. So just encourage you guys to just really work on this, really get better, put your time in. It's like the old saying is what, what you put your time in is what you're going to be. You know what I mean? So if you really put your time in on being a hockey player and working on your skill sets, you're going to become a better player and you're going to be a great player okay so as we're coming to a close on a lot of these videos here's another one for you on the back end enjoy it work on it make do a lot of reps with it and get better you guys all have a good day we'll talk to you soon